Hey everyone, um, why did I just do that? That was weird. Um, hey everyone, this is JD Ray, and today I'm coming at you guys with a foundation review that I have not done in a really long time. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and I just, I've been sick, and all these things just kept happening that were making it almost impossible for me to film. Um, I was busy, and just, it was not fun. So this is the Naked Sky. Uh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup, and that is quite a handful. Um, I just refer to this as the Urban Decay Naked Skin because, I don't know, I feel like this is just like a description of the foundation itself. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and let's get started with the foundation. I'm going to read off what this box says and we'll get started. Okay, so this foundation is peptide infused, light diffusing, and paraben free, and it is one fluid ounce. It's one fluid ounce, just like your typical, um, you know, foundation. And let's see the the back looks. I feel like reading this with a British accent because it's like it. When I first read this, I felt so classy. Um, let me go get my glasses. Okie dokie, so. We could get started. So, it says, It feels like wearing nothing at all, yet naked skin transforms complexions. Skin looks natural, illuminated, and bright, like the beautiful skin you were born with. Weightless and virtually invisible, this revolutionary paraben-free formula creates a flawless demi-matte finish. Light diffusing sphere. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Light diffusing spheres make you look professionally retouched. It's the ultimate in ultra definition. Infused with Matrixel 3000, a powerful, a powerful anti wrinkle peptide, protective and brightening lictoderm, lichiderm. Uh, I don't know how to read that. Antioxidant green tea and vitamins. This makeup loads skin with nourishing ingredients. Pick from a range of meticulously calibrated shades for your most perfected complexion shake well, then buff on naked skin with our Good Karma Optical Blurring Brush. Girl, I don't need your brush. Shake before use. Okay, so that's that's all it says. And then it says, oh, it says this little quote right here because it's they don't test on animals. We didn't do animal testing. How could anyone? Girl, let's not go there. This foundation, okay, these glasses are coming off. Pretty much what this foundation claims to do is it's supposed to be this really lightweight, demi-matte, uh, medium to full coverage foundation that has all these, you know, antioxidants and vitamins that are also helping, you know, prep your skin, I guess you can say. Um, not prep your skin, but just nourish it and it has Matrixel 3000 which I have heard of many times and it's supposed to, it's supposed to be a really good you know anti-aging peptide um if I'm not mistaking and an, an, an anti-wrinkle my bad um and Lichiderm I've heard of that before it's supposed to be like brightening and it's supposed to be like it's supposed to like create this film of like protectiveness, I guess that's the best way I could put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the packaging. It comes with this really pretty gunmetal um, lid, as you guys can see. It's kind of purple and it's just their signature gunmetal that I'm pretty sure you've seen in a lot of Urban Decay's um, products. Oh, it's falling. Now, <laughs> Moving on with the lid, like I said, I like not like I said, like I've just shown, it's very flimsy. So if you have it in like, <laughs> if you have it in your makeup bag or anywhere that's, um, you know, not very stable or it's not upright, it will fall off as I've shown, which I'm not going to do again because it's going to fall. The lid is a bit flimsy. Um, yeah, no, no, no. It's just, it's too flimsy. This is going to be a review and a demo, so, um, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that, and I have nothing on my face right now, so, um, yeah, don't look at it too much. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it does come with a pump, and it comes with this really cute, sort of, it reminds me of Makeup Forever, but skinnier, because it comes with, um, it's a two-bottle packaging. I don't really know what it's called. It's, it has the actual foundation encapsulated in this sort of container inside that contains the shade and then around it is this other like plasticky 
canister. Which leads me to the next thing. The color range is phenomenal. There are 18 shades, um, ranging from 0.5 to 12, which is a very deep shade, and 0.5 being a very fair shade. Um, the way that they have this set up is really interesting. I really like it. Pretty much their 0.5 shades are neutral to pink undertoned foundations, um, and the 0 0.0 shades are warm, golden, you know, just warm foundations in general. Many times foundations are just random with undertones. There's just, you know, there's a pink one, there's a yellow one, there's a yellow one, yellow one, pink one, and there's no way to identify them, you know, just looking at their name, you know, there's buff, there's nude, there's golden, there's all these different names, and with the numbering system, I think they really nailed it down because it's just, it makes it so much easier for you to know which shade you are. I was just like, I'm gonna need a point zero. so that was pretty... Hello? Sorry about that interruption. Um, anyways, when I went in there, I knew I was going to be a point zero shade, and I had done a bit of research, I guess you can say, and 6.0 seemed to be the best shade for me. Um, I would say 6.0 is about like an NC37 to NC40, about that. Um, I'm not sure if it would be NC40, to be honest with you, because this is a little bit lighter than my neck, and my neck is like around an NC40. Um, but if you have any questions about the shades, maybe ask me below and I'll try to do my best to answer them. The shade that you see here is much, much darker than the foundation that you get inside. And I've heard a lot of people actually have problems with this because they end up getting the wrong shade and they have to return it. And so when I went in there, I went in with that mentality. Like, it might look dark in here, but once it comes out, it might not be so dark. Um, so yes, this, I, I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks like it's a lot darker than me, and it's actually lighter than my face. Um, not lighter than my face, lighter than my neck. And it looks like it would, you know, match me, maybe even be slightly darker. So just keep that in mind when choosing your shade. Do not go off of this. Um, swatch it, you know, put it right here and see which one blends in best with your face as well as your neck. Um, just keep that in mind. Now, another interesting thing to notice about this foundation is, I don't know if you guys can hear this, It has a little ball in there, uh, which helps with shaking it. So, and it right here it says shake before use. Pretty much just like the Herb, uh, not the Urban Decay, the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that one also tells you to shake it. Um, why? I'm guessing because there are also skincare ingredients in here, and if you don't shake it, maybe they settle, maybe they go up, maybe they go down, depending on their density. So just when using this foundation, make sure to give it a good shake before using it, which you should be doing with most foundations, just in general, I guess. Long wearing, I would say this is a pretty long wearing foundation for me. It wears, um, for me, it, it wears around, let's see, I had it on t the other day from around 10 to 8. So that's 10 hours, and it was barely starting to get kind of um, dewy. I wouldn't call it oily. It was nowhere near oily. Um, my skin, I have combination skin. It's usually oily here, 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 and it was barely starting to bake bake through. Yeah, guys, I have some oil baking through. No, um, it was barely starting to break through, so... That, to me, is amazing. Um, I know a lot of people are put off by this foundation because it does have a natural satin finish, um, almost leaning towards... No, I wouldn't even call it dewy. It. It's a true satin finish, I guess I can say. I would say it's a true satin finish. Um, and, you know, a lot of people who have oily skin like me tend to go towards the um, matte finish foundations because they're just so much better at controlling oil. Oil, oil, oil. And, um... This one, surprisingly, is really good considering the finish that it gives. Um, and I think the main reason for it is because... Let me see. The fourth ingredient in this foundation is silica. And silica is known to be really good at not only diffusing, you know, skin flaws and making it look like it's blurred, but it's also really good at controlling oil from what I know. Um, the Makeup Forever... 
um, HD powder, if I'm not mistaken, is made of silica, which is why it has that kind of diffusing um, effect to it, as well as, you know, pretty oil controlling. So it's nice to know that this ingredient, that this foundation has this in there. It doesn't look matte, it doesn't look dewy, it just looks like skin. And I would say this has like, um, I don't know, I guess it depends how much you use of it, how much you use, um, but... I'd say this has a good medium coverage. It's totally buildable. It, this is so buildable. I've built it up before to a full coverage. And this is buildable. Trust me. It does not cake up. It does not get, you know, patchy as you build it. This foundation is also very, very lightweight. I When I have this on, sometimes I forget I have it on. And I'm like, I look in the mirror and I'm like, wait, why can't I see some pimples? And it's because I have this foundation on. It's so lightweight. You can barely feel it and I don't have it on right now but and you feel it on your face and it feels like you just just feels like skin I don't know if you guys have ever felt some foundations and they feel sticky or they feel really rough and dry this one feels like silk and just feels like a baby's butt I really like this foundation I would definitely recommend this I would recommend this for pretty much all skin types to be honest with you if you have dry skin um Last week I had dry skin because I was using acne medications and this did cling on to dry patches so just keep that in mind. Um, if you do have dry skin just be sure to moisturize because I don't think this was specifically formulated for dry skin people. I think this was just, I think this foundation was formulated for normal to combination oily skin people. Um, because on dry skin, when I had dry skin last week, it would just look kind of powdery even um on the dry spots and i would just you know take it off and then i put on a thicker moisturizer and a primer and that fixed it so if you do have dry skin and you do want to try this out be sure to check it out um if you have normal skin obviously this is going to work for you and if you have oily skin this actually works um it does control oil and it's just it's a really good foundation i really can't get over it. I like it. And this cost $38. So that might be a bit of a it, it's kind of steep. It's close to the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um but this one works so much better than the Makeup Forever HD foundation because I've used the Makeup Forever HD foundation and the other one was more of a dewy finish. That one was a, a dewy finish. Um and this one works so much longer and I mean, it is expensive, but I think it's so worth it because I have fallen in love with this foundation. So, yeah, that. And also, the Good Karma Optical Brewing Brush. Um, I don't think it's necessary to buy it. Uh, it's, it's a good brush. It's $24. Um, if you want to buy it, if you need a brush, go ahead and buy it. But don't buy it thinking, oh, um, I need to buy it just because this box tells me to. Uh, also, I did my eyebrows, finally. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, the other day, I have a story for y'all, the other day I was, um, I got my hair cut and this Asian lady who was cutting my hair was like, you want the eyebrows done? Like, not meaning offense to anyone, but this is how she said it. And I was like, my eyebrows? And she was like, yeah, your eyebrows. And I was like, um, no, I'm growing them out. Thank you, though. Like, that made me so self-conscious. I don't think you guys realize. Like, I, I left and I was like... I got home and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, these are looking kind of ratchet. So I was like, I have to I have to take matter into my own hands. And that same night I went in and I fixed them up. Um, I'm still growing them out. Um, this one has like a bald spot somewhere in there. And <laughs> so does this one. But it's whatever. I'm still growing them out, but they have the shape that I want them to be for now i guess you can say and i'm really liking this shape so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this shape and let's go ahead and let's get started with this demo because i know you guys want to see what the demo of this foundation is so let's go ahead and let's jump into that so i actually have this sample left still um of the urban decay naked skin foundation in shade 6.0 so i hope you guys don't mind me using that because i just found this the other day and i want to finish this up before um before 
it goes bad. So this is pretty much what a pump would be, and that is what 6.0 looks like. Now that's how much I'm going to take. I have nothing on my face right now, and I'm going to be using my Everyday Minerals um, Kabuki brush. I think this is very similar to the Good Karma Optical Brewing brush that they sell. Um, it reminds me of it in so many ways, except that this has a shorter handle. And this one's only, I haven't checked, when I bought it, it was $12, so if you want, you know, maybe a good dupe for it, go get this one, because I've been using this, and it's been working just fine for me. I don't feel the need to go buy the um, Urban Decay Good Karma Optical Brewing Brush. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. Um, I'm going to take some of this, and I think it's better to actually dot this on your face and then buff it in, rather than... Um, take it from your hand with the brush. So I'm going to do half of my face and then we'll do the other half. Um, so like I said, I have nothing on right now. You guys can see that. And let's go ahead and buff this. You want to be very light handed when buffing this um, because then too much will get stuck into the brush. Um, and you really don't want that. So. Also, another thing I forgot to mention in the video, this only has a six month shelf life because it isn't formulated with parabens. And there's like rumors going around that um, just that parabens cause cancer and all these things. So a lot of foundation companies um, or makeup companies in general are just starting to not feature parabens or not use them in their products. And yes, that's good for your skin and all these other things, but that also means that it's going to um, have a shorter shelf life as you guys can see right here. This only has a six month shelf life so just keep that in mind i just felt like i should tell you guys that just in case you guys don't know um so that is one layer of my face done and that is what that looks like so i mean obviously it's a really good shade this one's 6.0 online it's described as a medium as a medium skin tone with olive undertones and i was so surprised that a foundation a liquid foundation had olive undertones um, I can definitely see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very subtle, but it definitely does have that olive undertone to it. So that's half of my face done with one layer, and now I'm going to go ahead and build this. So, And again, just buffing this on here. I think you can really honestly just apply this with any brush. I've applied this with my fingers. Works just fine. Um, I just like the brush that is um, two layers of the Naked Skin Foundation right here. And I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Obviously see a difference this side. That's actually a nice, beautiful little pimple I got going on right now. Um, but this side, the redness is diminished. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Um, you know, all these acne marks that I have are pretty much diminished also. They're gone, if not, you know, faded with this foundation on top. So that is how half of my face looks um, with this foundation with two layers. And they're very light layers. I did not want to, you know, cake it on because that's just not good. So I did two layers right here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side. I'm back, and this is my full face with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Like I said, this is a really good foundation. Um, if you were wondering about whether you should buy it or not, I say go ahead and go for it. Maybe get a sample before you buy it, but I would definitely recommend checking it out. As you guys can see, the redness is gone from the pimples that I had going on and all those other redness and stuff that I had going on um, and it's just it's a really good foundation so I would definitely recommend this go check it out get a sample and um, yeah that is the end of this review I hope I answered all your questions if you have any other questions do not hesitate in leaving them in the comment section down below or messaging me either one works um, yeah that's it guys um, thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and don't forget stay flawless bye guys